What is happening, everybody? We are back with another motherfucking reaction video. We'll be reacting to Men in Black International Official Trailer. Here they come, Men in Black. Make a network. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I used to, I, 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 I bopped to that song. Like, no, I used to listen to that on a, I had it on a CD. I used to listen to that when I would uh, ride my bike, <laughs> listen to that a bunch of other stuff. That, for a while, that, and the, the soundtrack to Bleed. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to ride my bike to my friend's house stuff. Oh my God. I bring it back, baby. I hope they have, uh, I'm about to just go ahead and get into it. I hope they have Will Smith, like, as, like, I'm not sure, I don't remember if this is a continuation of that story. But uh, I hope they have a. I just took a shower. I just got back. But uh, I hope they have Will Smith like in charge or something. Kind of like the way the other guy and, and the other and other two were. The white guy. Uh, I don't remember the actor's name. But he was like, uh, you know, the guy was in charge. They went to go see the the the, the angry police chief type role guy. I hope they have like Will Smith in in this. As that, like I said, he plays like a more minor role or something. I don't know how do people like, especially the first Man in Black. The I heard the third one actually wasn't that bad. I haven't watched it all the way through. I only watched like the first like, ten minutes of it. But, um, and the second one I thought was okay. Actually, thought that was the first one though. But we we'll have to fucking see. All right, let's get into this. Here we go. Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson looks younger and younger. I don't know it's the makeup. Always it's definitely an international trailer. The universe has a way of leading you to where you're supposed to be. Why does it sound like he, you know, moment you're supposed to be there. He's talking to a damn cone or some shit. Dim, 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 dim. Say that. You are the best kept secret in the universe. Well, she's a conspiracy theorist. Which makes me perfect for this job. Who wants to be a man in black? Be a man in black. He's going to solve all your problems. Mm, no, but looks damn good on you. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! I made this look good. Yeah. I have my wish to have my shade. Only as deja vu and dismissed just as quickly. Time to prove yourself, Agent M. We may have a problem in London. Welcome to MIB. You will be with Agent H, one of the best ever to wear this suit. Okay, the fucking superhero. Catching up on my daily meditation. Time for lunch, I think. Are you hungry? It's 9.30. I like that, like, he sounds British enough. Like, he's Australian, but he sounds British enough. Where he, <laughs> he can just put him in London, like, whatever. <laughs> I ain't heard this song in a minute. Puts every citizen of this planet at risk. This does look familiar, like I've seen them. I said, like, now step away from your busted ass vehicle and put your hands in the air. Oh. Just try. Don't replace the memory, huh? It's gonna be fun. We'll have fun with it. Oh. There should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. We are the men in black. Looks like the tables have turned. Wow. Cool catch. That was a pretty good catch from that distance. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I haven't really cared about this. Like, when I first heard about it, I was like, okay, they're gonna make another one. And... It'll be whatever. They, you know, they're not having Will Smith. Which I was fine with Will Smith not coming back. I ain't having a problem. Or uh, Tommy Lee Jones coming back. 
which uh, let me say, Josh Brolin did an excellent uh, imp- impersonation of uh, Tommy Lee Jones. I had, like I said, I haven't seen the movie in its entirety, but I watched clips of because <laughs> they were talking about how much he, how great a job he did impersonating like a young Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> All you gotta do is just just look sh- sh- like like that man looked like his face is made of stone and just stare. Like I've seen movies with him when he was younger. And he was smiling and stuff, and it was jarring. I was like, wait a minute, Tommy Lee Jones smile. It's like seeing Morgan Freeman in a movie when he was younger. Like, when you first see movies with him older, and then you see a movie with him, he actually looks looks younger and, and running and stuff like that. Well, Kiss the Girl, he still kind of looked like a man in his 40s. But but it, just, it was just jarring to see. <laughs> but that looked pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, the, the song, I, I think I was digging the song, because a lot of these trailers... If you get the music, uh, a lot more people like the trailer. We've seen that. I mean, that's, I mean that goes back. Now, that's not nothing new, but I make a, I'll, I'll refer to a new newer movie, which was uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy. They had you know, old soundtracks, stuff like that. It's the eighties music, where people are still fond of and hold on to. You know that type of music. I mean, this is a, of course a newer song, and it sounds like. Is that Fergie? I don't like Fergie. I don't, like, I don't remember who sung that song. But it sounds like Fergie. It might be Black Eyed Peas or just Fergie, but uh, that when you have that plus, it actually looks interesting. I like the angle they're taking when they're making him like uh, like they well they did that with Tommy Lee Jones too when he was remembering who he was on the second one and he was like. Uh, when he kicked that guy, he had his balls were on his chin. I remember, I remember when I was a kid. I saw, it, well, a kid, but I was younger, and um, I was like, his dick come out his mouth. <laughs> so like, his balls, <laughs> dick probably like back here or something. <laughs> Some shit. But uh, I mean, they, they kind of did that. Like these, these people are almost like they fight like. Like humans in, uh, they fight like human in comic books, where they they do a blade like a normal human being could not do any of that stuff in real life. But the way they fight and like almost like they defy gravity where they move. <laughs> like you look at anything like like the way Daredevil fought in a two thousand three movie. Like the way he almost like glided down and shit. <laughs> he jumped and landed and shit. Oh, he jumped from the church across a. A, a city street, mind you, onto another building, and he's and he's a normal human being. <laughs> we're just we're just enhanced senses, but at least in that they tried to explain that away by saying well, his sense of touch enhances the street, but not like that much. We would literally jump. If you have been in a city, you know how big a city street is from one side to the other, and you're talking about jumping from one building <laughs> across the street and landing. On the other bit, <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's no, even as a even an Olympic athlete, cause that is impossible. <laughs> but it's a comic book musical. I, I I don't know why. I just really hope they. I know Tommy Lee Jones probably not gonna do, but uh, I really hope they have like Will Smith in this or something. Like, uh, isn't. Why am I forgetting that chick's name? The, the black chick. Why am I forgetting her name? Tessa Thompson. Yeah, that's her name. I almost said something else. But, uh, it. I hope don't do nothing like that's his daughter or some shit, but, uh, or his niece or something. Like, I hope they're not related. Look, Will Smith's over here. They might not, they probably won't even do it. I'm just saying, it'd be a nice little, just a little Easter egg. It doesn't have to be, like, he has a big role in there. Just a little Easter egg saying, like, hey, you know, well, if it's a continuation of that story, which it, they kind of pull in aspects from that. Uh, and it could easily be, it's like, it's just set over here. It's, it's part of an overall universe. But just like, this is the MIB. That happened to MIB in America. This is the MIB in, um, London is is Tessa Thompson British? 
Because some of these accents throw me off. Like, I, like the guy who played Bushmaster in Luke Cage, I literally thought he was Jamaican. <laughs> it's funny because Jamaican people, he sounds nothing like us. I was like, I'm like hey, I'm not Jamaican. He said he did a pretty good impersonation to me. But, uh, uh, West Indies or whatever that we want to say. But, um, I'm curious. Like, I, I, would, I would just like to see Will Smith. Just, see, just like a little throwaway thing. Like him, like him uh, they call him or something in America. Like, he's on the phone or something. You know? or, or he shows up at one point and does that thing. Like, I mean, let me show you the, the, the old school way. Or, you know, some shit like that. You know, just, just a little throwaway Easter, Easter egg. Or th not Easter egg, but throwaway little role where you just oh they just cool just to see you know but that's just me because i really like the first one make your neck work <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh so fucking uh like thinking back i just think like, god I'm so fucking lame <laughs> and uh anyway i still like this i don't give a fuck what anybody said but anyway what y'all think of y'all like that trailer i thought it was Pretty sweet, and we saw Hellboy. I watched that trailer like three or four times. I re I'm really starting to dig that trailer a lot more. And um, same thing in that. The music already grabs your attention, makes you pay more attention to the trailer because actually the music is... You, I mean, music doesn't have to be old music to grab your attention. I mean, I listen to a lot of old music. But that's because my father listened to a lot of old music. He didn't allow hip-hop or any modern-day rap in the house. And this was back in the 90s, so... Even though I still listen to like nineties hip hop, even eighties hip hop, but at the time I did like and none of so all the music I listened to was back in the eighties, nineties, seventies, sixties, and even fifties. I even listen, I even got some movies movies, uh music like 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 I think nineteen thirties and shit, like but uh it's like uh say Duke Ellington, I was good. It's another song I have that was song like like Paul Robeson, I think so. I, I can't, I forget, I can't remember when exactly when Paul Robeson was born, but it's an old ass song. And, and uh, but anyway, like just that music can just grab your attention, especially like like I said, people who are fond of the old music it grabs our attention even faster, and then we pay more attention and we like the overall trailer, which makes us, which is what marketing is supposed to do, supposed to make you grab your attention, make you want to go out and see this. And it grabbed my and that, but that modern because that's a modern song, but that still grabbed my attention because that beat I like the beat and I, I like the song, but I'm just kind of paying it to just the music in general. But uh, that I still like I said, that was good. And Hellboy was exceptional to me, I really, I really dug that. And every time I watched it, I liked it more and more. Still, like, uh, we have this, I mean, I hate comparing it, but we'll do. People are gonna compare it, so I might as well compare it. Like we have to wait and see if it's as good as Ron Perlman's um uh, you know, Hellboy. But hopefully it's just good in its own right. It doesn't have to be you want know, to compare it and say, Well, this one was better. Like it's good on its own and doesn't have to be compared to something else. So of course, but people are gonna compare it. That's just that's just the way it is. But anyway, uh what y'all think of it? Comment down below. You know. Uh like and subscribe, motherfuckers, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.